Hello, fellow creative freelancers and solopreneurs. Uh, my name is Aura McKay and I am the founder of Business of Creativity and uh, I had a 20 year career as an international award winning professional photographer and I am still consider myself a working entrepreneur, a solopreneur really. Um, I have a team of people that I have outsourced and delegated to but it's really me making all of the decisions, wearing all the hats um, and um, trying to figure out how to navigate my way through this uncertainty and what's going to be coming up next in the future and helping my clients and my peers and colleagues navigate through what is really some very challenging times in a lot of ways I mean I find I don't know what it's like for you guys but I find that for me I kind of um, it changes day to day or even week to week in terms of my level of optimism um, my sense of possibility for the future and my sense of what's the point and I just can't muster it up so however you're feeling whatever is going on for you is um is what's going on for you and there can be a lot of questions that come up and sometimes you know i'm a question queen i love questions i love the power of questions and i truly believe that if we ask really great questions we can unlock answers and possibilities that are just so amazing and create huge potential for us However, sometimes when we're asking questions, um, we can start creating this kind of snowball of um, uncertainty and unansweredness and the yeah buts and the what ifs. So my encouragement today is to look at the kinds of questions that you're asking yourself and to maybe even grab a pen and paper and write them down. Often what happens with questions is that we can um, kind of go over and over and over and over and over and over again the same question, um, especially if there are questions that we don't actually have answers for. So questions about what's the future going to bring, uh, you know, what are people going to spend money on in the future, you know, are my clients going to still need my services, all of those questions we can't, we'll never really know for sure. And gang, we never really did. We always were just making our best guesses based on past experience or historical experience. And usually, if um, an economy is a pretty stable economy, that is a really great way to be asking questions and making decisions, to look at the past for answers. And we're going into a time where we don't have a model of the past to be able to looking at. So questions about the future, questions about you know what's gonna happen out there can kind of drive us crazy a little bit because we don't have answers yet. We don't know what the new economy is gonna look like when all this dust settles. But we do know some things. And I think that um, if you can separate some of the questions you're asking yourself, you can start to leverage the power of those questions. So one of the ways to um, separate the questions you ask yourself is separate the questions that are about what can you do right now in your creative business and separate those questions from what are you going to do in the future. So first of all, step, separate what do you need to do to survive? What do you need to do right now for your physical, your mental, your emotional health, and your financial health? What, um, what actions can you take? What uh, resources of information can you find? What skills do you have that you can leverage right now to start bringing in some of that health, that confidence, that certainty that we crave, even though we have chosen the life of entrepreneurship full of risk. So I would suggest to you that your first thing is to identify, is this a question that I need to solve right now? Is this something about my current circumstances? Is this about my survival? Is this about my immediacy right now? And then there's all those questions about the future. And those are great questions to contemplate from an introspective place. 
So when we're starting to look at the future, what am I going to do to thrive? Am I going to keep my business going? What is that business going to look like? Who will I serve? Those kinds of questions. There's a lot of different ways that we can access answers to those questions. And um, it's one of the things that I'm working on right now. So I'm working on creating some solutions and some tools that creative freelancers and solopreneurs can use to start answering those questions about the future. So love to get your feedback on it. Um, I'm considering doing a five day challenge. I'm considering doing um, just a, maybe two little 90 minute um, online webinars really looking at the survive and thrive, what to do now and what to do next in your creative business. So if that's something that you would be interested in, please drop me a note, let me know, um, survive or thrive, whatever it is that is most um, painful for you right now. And sometimes it's gonna ebb and flow. Sometimes you're gonna be in that mindset of really being able to think about the future and to look ahead and think, um, constructively and full of possibility about, okay, so what am I going to do? What am I going to change about my business? How am I going to respond to be flexible, um, pivot to be able to continue to serve people? And some days it's going to feel like an overwhelming blanket of doom with no way out and no possibility. So being mindful of your mindset when you're asking the questions can again help you to separate what is a question that's going to uh, move me towards uh, uh, knowledge or um, action or certainty and what is a question that is um, meant to stir up a whole lot of what if what if what if what ifs that I can never answer. I think you guys get it, but you know what? It, even for myself, I know these tools, I practice these tools, I uh, you know support others using these tools, and if that is something that you need, please let me know. I have opened up my schedule for a lot of free conversations. I'd love to be able to walk you through separating some of your questions, but I want you to know as well, don't touch your face, um, I want you <laughs> to know as well that I struggle with these things also. It's it's um, you know a lot of our emotions, a lot of um, circumstances um, can really um, impact us right now. We're all under a lot of stress, and stress creates um, emotional response. It creates anger and resistance. It creates um, habits that don't serve us. It creates lack of sleep. It creates quick to judge. There's a lot of things that stress really impacts. So when we're looking at those two questions, what do I do now? What do I do next? The now part, in my opinion, one of the most important things to do right now is to take care of your physical, mental, emotional health, and then to look at your financial health and try to find solutions for your survival. Once we have taken care of that base level of need, that sort of Maslow's hierarchy of food and shelter and safety, it's then that we can start to think about what am I gonna do next? So if you find yourself really struggling to see any way out of this current circumstance, that's likely because you're still working on survival for this current circumstance and you're, you haven't um, laid the foundation enough to be able to really start looking towards the future. If you need help in um, figuring out things that you can do for survival right now, I have created a five things checklist. Everybody loves a checklist. So I will post that link here of five things that you can do right now to create more certainty in your creative freelance or solopreneur business. Gang, I think we're in for um, a bit more time in this um, sort of, uh, uh, in between state, if you will, of really not knowing um, what the new economy is going to look like and yet watching our old economy crumble. So whatever you can do to create some stability, to build that foundation and to set yourself up for asking powerful questions, please do it, including reaching out to me. 
that's what I've got for you today. This is uh, Tuesday 2 o'clock Teen Talk, so I come on Facebook Live every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Pacific to share some business marketing and mindset tips. My name is Aura McKay. I'm the founder of Business of Creativity, and I'm wishing you all stay safe and stay awesome.